Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm drawing my OCs at Pride. Every year I draw this little thing with my OCs with the flags that represent them and what they would wear if they would to go to Pride every year. It's been my way to express myself when I felt like I couldn't like be who I wanted to be, but I just used the characters to be me and show that I can be proud of myself and that they're proud of who they are. The flags I do use in this video do not really represent them, kind of, but more resemble like their journey. Like you'll see, like in one of them, I use like two or three different flags, and it's just their journey is not who they are. Like I'll tell you when we get to the characters what they really are and what their sexualities are and all that. But this is more of a journey and not the destination. The reason why I didn't just have it just as their own flag and only that is because I kind of wanted to remind myself because over the years like I've changed what thing I use to represent myself, what uh, word I use to label myself, like what sexuality I am. I use uh, many different terms and still am. They're all kind of changeable for me right now so I think it would kind of be the same for some of my characters that they will show what they use to get to like what word they're using now how they express themselves today right now i'm doing a line art for the piece i'm gonna say in advance sorry if everything starts moving around and i'm like going place to place very quickly it's because at first i didn't think of how the video would be structured i'll be fine if i just jumped and did everything but then i found out that wouldn't really look appealing to someone who doesn't understand where my brain is going and it probably just like a whole mess so I do later when it gets in the coloring process, try to focus on one character at a time so it's not as bad and jumbling around. This video was supposed to go up yesterday because it would have been the whole year of anniversary of the original piece that I did for this. But I had lots of complications yesterday and I couldn't get it up. I also redid the original piece because there's this thing going around on Instagram called the one year six month three month and now thing where you showed like your art improvement over the months and the whole year and I wanted to redo that piece because it was one of my favorite pieces I made before I went to like a summer camp for like a whole week and I couldn't draw and it's always kind of been my favorite one with like my characters with the pride flags and all that it always like makes me smile when I look at it I'm gonna try to explain my characters as best as I can in this video so it's kind of like a memoir where I am so when I look at this video later in life, I'm like, oh, that's what my characters are like. Especially this one, because I hated drawing his face the whole time while drawing this piece because it never turned out correct. Like, I think I redid it, like, either three or four times. Like, some of it I didn't record because that's how bad it was for me to draw this specific character's face. The one thing I did like about this was the attention to detail I did put in this piece. Like you see about right now while I'm doing his teeth, I really do like how I draw teeth now because of, I put like more details than just being like a simple cartoon. He's kind of like cartoon, well semi-realism, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, that's how I like to do like some teeth, but then the rest of the piece I never do that again because it's only good when you like use it correctly for me. So that's the only time like I use semi-realism was like they have like their mouth open really wide and it makes more sense that way. Also, I love how I did this hand because I didn't use a reference first of all, which probably was a bad idea, but I like how I did like the nails too. And I guess that kind of shows how much I've improved lately with drawing hands because I really like it because usually my hands turn out bad. Like you saw before, I was like erasing it a thousand times. I wish I drew like bird wings more because I really like layering wings and how different they all can look from each other. They're really fun to make well, but this one I was trying to do more like angel wings. So, yeah. I was likely going to see a lot in this that I'm going back to like toggle with how the face looks because I did do a sketch on paper originally and I didn't like how it doesn't translate well back into digital art for me. So I always had to go back into the sketch and try to redo it to look more like my original sketch. The next character that I get to draw in ink was a blast of dogs. I really do like the face that I did put on her because it reminded me of like a cat meme kind of because the cat are talking like blip and it just seemed like such of a neutral expression but like sort of confused I guess I like how I did this character's hair 
because they cut their own hair so it looks all jagged lines and all that and also it's pretty floopy and swoopy and all that I like uh, the way that it looks and the way that I did a line work for it like I made it even more poofy like as they had pigtails and all that the last two characters really like I did their noses their piercing and their arms I looked up so many pictures on how to draw a flexing muscle and I really like the little hands like that was my favorite pe thing to do in this whole piece, like, just the favorite part. They also look like superheroes, which is fantastic, because they're siblings, so I wanted them to look more likely. Like, there's two sets of siblings in this piece, so kind of had to make sure, like, they kind of look like they were family almost, but not too close that they were twins, except for one of them are twins. This character was originally wearing a shirt, but I forgot to draw it in, which makes it look better and more like a superhero, I guess. And this is the end of me inking everything and now I'm going back and putting down the flat colors which is the jumbly piece I was talking about earlier where I'm going all over the place and nothing makes sense and I usually when I'm doing pieces I always kind of like try to dot out where I'm gonna put the colors and everything so I kind of have a base guideline about where everything is going and what's happening for a couple of these characters when it came to drawing their hair I thought I would use the gradient tool and see if that would work but as you see in uh, one of them coming up soon it's not gonna be so good and I have to go over like 10 colors figured out especially with this one because I was trying to do the transgender flag and I was trying to make it all look good together but it's three colors going together and it's gonna look terrible trying to use the gradient tool so I had to go back with this uh, custom watercolor brush that I made to smooth it out make it look a little bit better now the first character we're starting off is named Amber. They are a gender queer slash gender fluid um, character that I created. Um, as you see in the picture, I tried to make it look like she was wearing like a binder, which is probably a bad idea if you're going to a pride parade. And I'm pretty sure it's probably hot outside, so just wearing a binder by itself is probably really bad. So yeah, I probably need to do more research about all of that. Uh, she's supposed to be uh, five thick in height and she's really like a quiet character and they really like to keep to herself. I changed the flag so I didn't want to have the transgender flag shown twice because it's really not what they are. This is Bunny slash Charlotte. Um, she's a pansexual, demisexual and she has like fire hair which I used the watercolor tool again for and she also has a I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. You can correct me in the comments below. Uh, she's a bookworm, she's a nerd, so she's really, really smart. And you probably don't expect her to be as smart when you look at her. Uh, she keeps to herself a lot. Uh, she's in a relationship with one of the, another character that I'm going to show up later. Um, she's kind of like the closest person to me. If you were going to like say if my characters were me, she would be the closest candidate for that. She was the third character I ever created. The next character coming up is named Sally. She is part of the three elders of the piece, I would say, because they're older than everybody else here. Um, she is um, the person next to her is named Thomas, uh, sister, older sister, and um, she's not really athletic. She mostly stays inside a lot, but she does like to get sun and go outside and be adventurous. Um, she is a lesbian. She's in a relationship with one of the characters at the top that we'll get to later. Um, yeah, she doesn't really wear makeup a lot, but she does have this like wicked eyeliner that I really love to draw when I do draw her. And that's about most her. She looks more like uh, someone you don't want to mess with at school, so she's basically like the jock of the school, I guess. She is also the friend who will always have bubblegum at her disposal. Like, there's never a day where she doesn't have it. It kind of helps show off with, like, I'm the job, don't mess with me, I'll mess you up and all that. So, but she's really a really nice person when she gets to know her. Next is her sweet baby brother, Thomas slash Valentino. Uh, I really can't decide what name to call him, so I'll go with both. I didn't want to call him Thomas at first. So that's why I usually call my Valentino, which you may have seen in an earlier speed paint I did before when I turned him. 
Uh, he is bisexual and he is in a relationship with Charlotte slash Bunny. They met at school because he's like the jock of the school and also known to like being like gang related stuff. So like, she found him out that way because she's like too smart to not know what this person's doing at the school and why he is the way he is because he's always so secluded and all that. Valentino was the first character I ever created and I love him so much. He's my favorite character to draw and when I need something to draw, he's the first thing I think of when it comes to doodling. Next up, we got the first half of the set of twins, also part of the three eldest characters that I have. Her name is Claire. It's supposed to be of a pun of the Aquaire de Lune that I have said in a previous video. I really love that song. It was the first song I learned how to play on the viola. So that's where the pun goes, and that's why uh, her twin also have a pun for their own name. Um, she's kind of a nerd, but she's more of a person that is out on the team, playing sports all the time. She's also in a relationship with Sally, and they've been together for about three years in my canical time. So yeah. Last but definitely not least, this is one of my favorite characters to draw now because I just recently created him. His name is Sonny slash Choplin or Choplin based off like the composer. Uh, he is a fashion designer and has his own kind of like fashion rule. Like think if he was like Gucci but times 10. Like he's really well known. But he don't expect someone his age to be the one who's creating all these fashion design and twin trends. At school, he is known for always being trendy, always the one who's giving out fashion tips, and everybody always looks to him to see what is the new trend, what are we doing this week. So basically, kind of like the mean girls when it comes to fashion, but like he's the nicest person anyone can ever meet. Uh, he is, um, I don't really know what his sexuality is now, so that's why I use kind of all these flags, so it's kind of more of to confuse you more to know what he is, because everybody's knowing, what is he? Like, he's never dating anyone, but like... He's always seemed to be like surrounded by people and all that, so you think he'll be around someone while his admirers and all that. And that comes to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And just like show all the little buttons one by one. I do kind of want to make them into button sets, so if anyone knows how to make those, please let me know. So maybe I could sell them. I don't know. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. I hope your day shines brighter than the sun. And I'll see you guys in the next video.